A group of around 50 Microsoft workers signed a letter demanding that the company cancel its nearly half billion dollar contract with the U.S. military to license its augmented reality HoloLens technology for use in military combat and training. The letter addressed to Microsoft's CEO and president was initially circled internally and is now being released publicly. It takes issue with the use of Microsoft's technology to increase the lethality of warfare, arguing that it uh, turned combat into a simulated video game and is further distancing soldiers from the grim stakes of war and the reality of bloodshed. Microsoft plans to release a new version of the HoloLens augmented reality headset sometime soon. The employees' objections are also reflective of a larger tech-won't-build-it movement by tech workers who are demanding a stop to what they feel are morally questionable uses of their company's products. Employees at Google were successful in helping pressure the company to drop its defense project with the Pentagon in June, as well as getting the company to halt plans to build a censored version of its search product in China called Project Dragonfly. Uh, that was back in December. This isn't the first time Microsoft employees have raised concerns either about government uses of its technology. Last June, hundreds of employees signed a petition demanding that the company drop its contract with U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement. And in October, a group of employees called for the company to cancel its $10 billion project to build cloud services for the Department of Defense. Employees' efforts have been unsuccessful so far in getting the company to drop those contracts, while Microsoft has encouraged uh, regulation and ethical debates over the use of facial recognition technology, it has recently doubled down on its support for selling its technology to the U.S. military and government agencies. We believe in the strong defense of the United States, and we want the people who defend it to have access to the nation's best technology, including from Microsoft, wrote Smith in a corporate blog post in October. In addition to the demand to cancel the U.S. military contract, the letter also calls for the company to cease developing any and all weapons technologies, draft a public statement saying so, and create an external review board to enforce and validate the matter. The latter acknowledges that a review process already exists at the company for ethics in AI called Ather, but the writers argue that the process is opaque to Microsoft workers and clearly not robust enough to prevent weapons development. Over 100 Microsoft employees have signed the letter as of Friday evening. It remains to be seen if Microsoft workers will be able to change the company's stance on this matter.